So LeBron and JJ Reddick teamed up to launch yeah. the Mind the Game oh, yeah. podcast, uh, where they discuss strategy and the game we all love. On the first episode, LeBron had this to say about the most influential players in the league since MJ. Since I've been watching the game, the most influence on the game, and obviously we know what Mike did for the game. Sure. You know, well, Steph and Allen Iverson are the, the two biggest influential guys in our game since, since I've been watching and covering it. Allen Iverson and Steph, they were just so relatable, and kids felt like they could be them. They were, their, they were guys that was not always counted on. They were small in stature, and they just def defined the odds. So you got AI who's like unbelievable crossover, corn rolls, arm sleeve. We wear arm sleeve. Everyone wears arm sleeve now because of Allen Iverson. Mm -hmm. And he's going in the trenches, you know, laying it up over bigs, whatever the case may be. And now you have Steph who's shooting over the Empire State Building. You know, it's just like those two are the two most influential. When you say the game, how they change the game and the kids and, and like... Those are two guys that you just wanted to watch every single night. So, Rashad, do you agree with LeBron saying... Why you always go to me first? Because you, you were what? enjoying the clip what the most. What did you say? <laughs> you were enjoying the clip the most. Brought to tears by it. <laughs> <laughs> do you agree with LeBron saying AI and Steph are the most influential players since MJ? He was speaking from his perspective. Why would I have... I don't know. I'm yeah, asking you, do you... Of course I don't agree. So, who, 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 in your opinion, are the most influential players since MJ? <coughs> Kobe. And why do you feel like Kobe had more influence than those two gentlemen? Well, I mean, since Mike, he won five championships and willed his team to victory after victory after victory and never left the Lakers and Nike and going through trials and tribulations and overcoming them and being a family man and giving back to the game as a teacher, coming from a student, <clears throat> becoming a master. I mean, going over to China and doing what he was doing in China and, and, and the women's game and having daughters and trying to influence that side. Um, man, I mean, I just, you know, like I said, people will have their own perspectives of who did what for them and then I just... Kobe Bryant transcended a lot of things. And Allen Iverson came in, I, that was my favorite player starting off. Like there was no, nobody else. And I grew into um, becoming a, a student of Kobe Bryant, but influence wise, seeing how his signature shoe came about and then how it just, it went to a whole nother level. Everybody still wearing them, still copping them, colorways and exclusives and limited editions. and. Statues and I mean, he won an Oscar. <clears throat> Books. I mean, the inspiration, the motivation behind everything that he do. I just, I just feel like Kobe's different. Yeah. So, so Kenny, do you, do you agree or disagree with LeBron saying that Steph and AR are the most influential players in the league since MJ? I agree. Um. You have more people walking around this earth that their size, right? Mm -hmm. People don't know Steph six two six six three ish. They don't mm -hmm. know that, right? Just because he's skinny. skinny, right? People didn't know that coming in. So there's more people that can relate to size, guys their size and stature, and and you had just a generation of hoopers with the Allen Iverson influence that, that he influenced, right? A whole generation of hoopers um, from just being him, mm -hmm. right? Um, you can be nice at the game of basketball, but you don't have to conform to this corporate way of doing it. And including myself, a lot of us couldn't, can relate to that. Me coming in in 2000, him being in year four or five already, I'm saying like that's, that's, he was already laying the blueprint. And with the Steph thing, yeah, like more, you just look at it. 
right? Yeah. The way the game of basketball is played nowadays is single-handedly because of Steph Curry. At pretty much every level, right? At every level. Even at, at every, the youth at, level, kids. At every level, more kids think they can be Steph Curry than LeBron James. Mm -hmm. More kids think they can be Allen Iverson than Kobe Bryant at the time. Just because they were, the size stature can relate yeah. more to it. In the hood, Allen Iverson was a staple in the hood. Like, people knew that. You say Allen Iverson, that Reebok, that shoe was selling, that, that image, that likeness, that from when we went to the big three, you go, you walk in that arena, it's all three jerseys from every team he's been on from college on. It's just that yeah. influence. And I think Steph has that same thing. If when, when he's done playing and people would really appreciate it more and they look back at like, damn, he did this for the game. Right, so I agree with LeBron. Yeah, for sure. I think we look at AI, like LeBron said, wearing the sleeves, but a lot of us were getting our hair braided, getting tattoos, still rocking the Georgetown shorts. <clears throat> From, from those days, but Gil, when, when you look at what LeBron said, do you agree with him saying Steph and AI most influential since MJ? For the game of basketball, yeah. Because you can relate to, you know, you can relate to, the, to those guys. Like, I understand what, you know, McCants is saying, but, you know, when you're talking about relating to somebody, to somebody, it's not about their career itself, right? So championships, that doesn't have a factor into it. Like more kids, um, more kids can be Steph Curry and AI versus being a six six dude that can jump out the gym, right? You know, when you're talking about a little kid, right, looking up to somebody, yeah, I, they can see the dunk and stuff, but they can relate to just going out there shooting threes or dribbling around doing a crossover. So the move they learn first will be AI's move and, you know, Steph Curry's, you know, chucking the three up, right? That's what anywhere from eight years old to the day you can dunk and most of those guys, so basically all the white community, they can be Steph Curry, right? All of them can be Steph Curry. So when you're talking about more kids want to be a dribbler and a shooter over someone who can jump and dunk, right? Um, so when you're talking about influencing the game, changing it, AI himself, damn near looked like he invented arm tattoos, right? <laughs> you know, in the NBA itself, right? The, the crossover, everybody wanted an AI crossover, no matter what color you were. Um, you're talking about the rap community, it was AI. Barbershop, AI, right? He just covered so much ground just himself that you had to put in the, the dress code they see is because of AI, mm -hmm. right? Um, he just, Steph, right? When it comes to just, like, to be Kobe, like he, <laughs> you, you had to be a certain type of dude mentally, right? Everybody can identify with that, right? We can adore him and we love you, you know, we want number eight, number 24, Mamba for life, right? But y'all can't. <laughs> you, you can't, right? You can yell it out all you want, but you can't. So it's like, okay, I can, I can, I can, I can be Allen Iverson then. I can just go around trying to cross people over, don't need no game. <laughs> you know, so. Sure, do you, do you agree with what LeBron's saying about Steph and I? I do. The most influential. I do. And why do you agree with it? When I think about like influential, I don't just look at the basketball community. And they both have said it with AI, it was more about his effect that he had on like our community and outside of basketball. The tattoos, the dress code, the cornrows, the do-rags, like you see that everywhere, not just in, in the, on the basketball court, in the basketball world. And I agree, it's, it's easier to, to, to think or relate to, I can be Allen Iverson, or Allen Iverson is me, you know? Came from the hood, like all of those things are very relatable. And when I look at Steph, it's the same thing. When you go to a gym or outside, kids are at half court or wherever, trying to shoot threes. They wanna be like Steph. And then even on the other side, like the women's side, 
there are a lot of people who make these comparisons to, oh, she's just like Steph, or she shoots the ball like Steph, or her game is like Steph. Not that I agree with that, mm -hmm. <laughs> but you hear it. You hear it more so than, and, and I'm a huge Kobe Bryant fan, but you hear it more so than, oh my God, her game <clears throat> is just like Kobe. Because to your point, no, it's not. Mm -hmm. You can't be. Um, so yeah, I, I do. I think it's, it's your own opinion. But when I think about two players that have had a huge influence on the game and, and on the culture, it, I, I would agree with those two. And let's talk a little bit even about yourself, your influence on the game. You know, first one with a signature shoe, obviously all the chips, <coughs> Natty, everything that you've been able to accomplish. When you look at the game now, current state of the game, in the past 15, 20 or so years, let's say, Who's been the most influential on the women's side? Oh, gosh. In the past 15 years? Let's say 15. Um, you know, I, I know for me a lot, a lot is like a recency bias for people. Like, who, who do I relate to? I'm, I'm going to go with Asia Wilson. I, I think Asia, where she is, what she's doing, the impact she's having on the community. I mean, winning back-to-back -back championships... Like people, and it doesn't matter, black, white, and when you can reach different races and connect with people from different backgrounds, like to me, it says you're having an effect on people and you're, be, you're a big influence. You know, Asia, with her book, Dear Black Girls, like you have, the, the title is Dear Black Girls. It's for people who look like us, mm -hmm. but you have girls from all different races, they're going out, they're buying the book, they want to read it because it's Asia telling her story. And when I look at what she's doing on the court, like there's a, there's a whole different conversation we could have. But I, um, I think Asia has had a huge influence on people. Um, and then if you want to go more recent than that, I mean, it's, it's pretty obvious you got to go with Caitlyn. Mm -hmm. Right, because people look at Caitlin and they see what she's doing, not just on the court, but the impact she's having just over women's basketball as a whole. Um, it's, it's pretty remarkable to see how she single-handedly has brought a completely different audience to watch the game of women's basketball. Like, that's having a huge influence yeah. On the game. When you talk about rock star, but just seeing lines out the door. Absolutely. Ticket, four or five hundred bucks, which is, you know, crazy to think of for a ticket for a women's basketball game. But even the impact on the tournament now, outperforming the men's tournament. Like, let's just be real, you know, we're all more excited about the women's tournament than the yeah. men's tournament. And that, that's more than just Caitlin, but with the Angels. Oh, for LSU, sure it With is. everything's going on, though, it's, it's a cool thing to see, especially just growing the game on that side. So, which player had the most influence on your game, Rashad? There's a few players, a few players. Uh -oh. <laughs> I can't <laughs> contribute just one, but Allen Iverson, Paul Pierce, and Kobe. Okay. And Tracy McGrady. That's that's a good wow. good four players that have an impact, influence on your game. Can you, who had which player had the most influence on your game coming up? Sean Kemp, Larry Johnson. Those were guys you watched, like Sean Kemp, Larry Johnson. Uh, yeah, I can see it. <laughs> dunks, dunks and blocks. LJ in college. Those UNLV days. Yeah. Dallas boy, man. High school. Come on, man. No more in picks. Legend. Yeah, for sure. Grandma Ma. I'm talking about. <laughs> sure, how about yourself? Uh, which player had the most influence on your game? Well, unfortunately, I, I didn't really watch women play because they weren't there you were anywhere for it. me to watch. Well, but even like the Cheryl Millers and the players that came before, I, I never got an opportunity to watch them play. So, um, I was big MJ fan, big MJ fan. Just, just watching every aspect of his game, and, and not just on the court, but off the court. Um, as much as I want to sit here and give you a female, I can't. So I'm gonna go with MJ. Yeah, it's, it's all good. Shit. Whoever it is, it was, yeah. oh, oh, we know. <laughs> <laughs> Accolades say enough, goddamn it. Yeah. Everything, yeah. yeah. 
And Gil, last but not least, uh, which player had the most influence on your game when you were coming up? When I first started, it was MJ, because um, it was the first individual that they was really pushing. So um, I got my ball hogging, <laughs> ISO work from MJ. He was not a ball hog. <laughs> and then it became Tim Hardaway for the crossover, and then my arms got too long, so it got slow, and then when Penny hit the scene, yeah. I swear I was Penny Hardaway. Right? I swear I was Penny Hardaway. Everything was one. <laughs> right? I wanted the bulldog on the leg, and then when Kobe came, it reintroduced me to ball hogging again. <laughs> right? So the, those was my four. <laughs> Quality shots. Quality shots. Quality <laughs> shots. Right? So I was like, I went from ball hogging to the crossover to like kind of like team play. Back the ball, hog. Let's let's rock. Quality. This stuff. is this is me. <laughs> this, this, this is what me. Fits you, huh? Yeah, yeah. This what fits me. So we asked the uh, chat. Most influential hooper. Fifty-one percent said Iverson. Thirty-seven <coughs> percent said Steph. Twelve percent said other. Now let's move on to mostly fans presented by Underdog Fantasy. This music Download hits the, me every time. It's, you know, very. I normally do Whoa. my central voice. Like I don't understand it. 